Hello everyone, Venrith here. With the upcoming release of Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020, I thought it would be a good idea to take a look into which would be the best digital store to purchase a sim from, as there are a few options. If you are planning to play Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 on an Xbox once it releases to consoles, as well as the PC, then you are best to purchase it from the Microsoft Store directly. This will allow you to play on the PC from August the 18th and the new Xbox console at a later date. Otherwise, you can go with a Game Pass subscription instead, but more on that in a minute. If you were to purchase it from Steam, then there is no official word on whether you'll be able to play it on the Xbox as well without having to purchase it again. If you are unsure if you will enjoy the sim, or are just unsure on how it will run on your system, then you could play it safe and just go with a Game Pass subscription. If you have not used Game Pass before, you can get it for as little as £1 here in the UK for the first month, with a high cost after that month. This would allow you to play it and try it out on your own system for months without having to spend a lot of money on it. Game Pass will also allow you to play the game on the Xbox once it has been released onto the console as well. If you have made it this far and you're determined to buy a copy of Microsoft Flight Sim 2020 and you're not interested in pl playing it on console, then you might be wondering if you should buy it directly from the Microsoft Store or buy it on Steam instead. Flight Sims have traditionally had a better experience when bought directly from their store in regards to updates etc from my previous experience with uh, DCS and Eggplane. It also has allowed the developer to receive a bigger cut of the revenue so if you feel like supporting the developer more, then Microsoft Store might be a better option. However, we don't know what the situation will be with Microsoft Flight Sim. What we do know here in the UK is the pricing is the same on both stores, although in some parts of the world this might not be the case, so it is best to check both and see for yourself. I have read reports that Microsoft Store locks down its files so you cannot access them. However, that seems to only be the initial launcher and doesn't affect the main game files. So this should not be an issue when it comes to installing pods, etc. Steam allows you access to all of your files and of course is more widely used compared to the Microsoft Store. So you might prefer to get it from there to keep your games all bundled in one area. Either way, from what I've seen and researched, I can say that either store will be used to initially launch the game and the rest will be handled inside the game itself so it shouldn't matter which store you buy from if you really want you could buy the 10 dvd version of course thanks for watching i hope this has helped which store will you be buying much of flight simulator 2020 from and why let me know in the comments bye for now